Hello guys, today is the 9th of January 2021. Um, we'll uh, review a bit our Google Sheet. We'll see how it's been going. Um, it seems that um, our AI algorithms give profit of VIX, um, of course, uh, towards value betting. Um, so let's go a bit um, to our live Google Sheet. Um, so I see that every day there are many uh, that uh, visit uh, this Google Sheet. Probably you use it. I hope it seems that it's winning. Um, it seems that our experiment is uh, successful. And um, as I told you, the more the bets, um, the bigger the probability uh, of verification. So um, if we are positive, if we find the value, it seems that we do find the value, uh, we're going to be uh, winning in the long run. Of course, it, this thing tells us that in 20 days up to today, we have 14.62% uh, um, total return of investment. So um, we have 14.62 units up from our initial bankroll. So uh, it means that uh, the profit per day is uh, 0.73 units. Um, this is reasonable uh, if um, we have in mind that we uh, find 6.14% value. Uh, but uh, the way we keep statistics is uh, because we want to improve the way we're playing. Uh, this is value betting, of course. Um, I'm not advising people to, to do value betting. This is an experiment for me, and it seems that it's working. I mostly go with progression betting, as I said in my previous video. But even value betting uh, seems to be working with um, AI algorithms. So um, up to now, we have 267 bets, uh, 123 wins, and 144 losses. Um, today, if you want to um, check the picks, we have 19. Uh, picks that are active. So uh, the hit rate that we have up to now is 46%. Um, the average odds are 2.5. Um, that equals to 39.93%. So the hit rate is bigger than the average odds. So we have 6.14% value. If we have something from 5 up to 10, uh, for me, it's 100% uh, success. Um, so let's an in 20 days. So let's analyze a bit uh, more what's happening. Uh, we have a yield 2.56%. The yield, uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, the stakes, so the amount of money that we bet, uh, and we d we divide. So we find the correlation between the profit and the amount of money. So if we divide the profit that we have, which is 14 units, and the stakes, we have bet already 572 uh, units because we bet two units in every uh, bet. We have 267 bets. Multiplied by two, it makes uh, 572. So if we divide profit to stakes, this means according to the, the stakes, uh, what is the profit? So it's 2.56. Uh, we need to have here something like 5 to 10 as well. This Or maximum, it can be 20. So uh, up to now, it's going well. So let's go deeper a bit. So if we check football matches, we have 145. 57 winning matches and 88 losses. This is 39.31%. Um, and the average odds are 36. So we have a value of 3.13%. In total, after 147, uh, 45 bets, we have won 1.36 units. Um, in the long run, we're gonna be we're gonna, we're gonna be winning. It's the value is uh, with us, but um, it seems that um, there is too much noise. So too many bets in order to have a small profit. If you check here, basketball, which is uh, NBA, uh, NCAA, and Russian Super League for now, uh, we have 102 bets, and uh, we have 55% uh, hit rate. Uh, and the odds we play are 46% to win. 
2.16. So the value here is 8.74. So we have the same amount of winning bets in a smaller um, um, size of bets. So up to now, we have 9.64 value instead of three that we have in football and 17 units profit. So that tells me that we should analyze more basketball matches and uh, have more matches uh, of that because basketball is a, a two-way bet. It's either a home win or a away win. I, I don't um, I don't try to find uh, the spread and try to beat the spread and because um, I think that it's easier to find a winning team, a, a team that want to win, instead of um, just playing for the spread. Because a team it doesn't care if you win for, with 10 points or 9 points different. So, uh, but the team cares um, to win. So this is important for me. Um, we want to have teams that want to win. So this is what I'm betting. Um, so if we play more basketball matches, the profit will go up faster. This is why we analyze um, our picks. Then, hockey, uh, we have 4.71%, uh, uh, but the, um, the sample is very small. We have only 18 matches. Uh, but I'm very confident that hockey is going to perform very well as well. So for now, basketball and hockey, I think they're very, very profitable in the long run. They're going to be. We can judge the, the, uh, the system better um, when we will have something like 500 bets, as I said before. The more the bets, the better, because it's the love of the large crowd. So the, uh, the more the bets, the, the more um, uh, the probabilities of our system, our numbers, to be verified. So, um, if we analyze a bit more, um, so up to now we, we, we see that basketball is more profitable. We're going to uh, continue um, finding picks for football, basketball and hockey, as we do right now. And we're going to judge again when we are going to be at 500 bets. Uh, then we're going to decide if we're going to keep value betting uh, with football or just have some more leagues in basketball or hockey. Uh, so if we uh, analyze a bit further the picks, we see that home teams, when we pick the home team to win, we have 56.12% hit rate and the averages are 45. So we have a value of 10%. So it seems that when we pick the home team to win, we have the best value. And the profit that we have is 25 units. So if we only uh, bet in home teams to win, we we were supposed to have 25 units profit. Uh, then when we pick the draw, it seems that we don't find the value up to now, but it's, yeah, the, the sample is small, it's 52 bets. So that, that's why I say we need 500 bets to be able to judge um, our system. So uh, when we pick the away teams, we also have value. We don't, we've lost eight units profit, but this is not important. The value is the important thing. And if the value is positive in the long run, the profit will come. Um, so what that tells me is that we should aim more for um, basketball and hockey up to now. And we should aim more for home teams to win. So our best picks are home teams and basketball up to now. Uh, but um, I'm pretty confident all those numbers are going to be verified. Everything is going to be profit. Either, uh, uh, one is going to be more profitable than the other, but all uh, all of those will be profitable. All the peaks and all the um, uh, sports and all the leagues. So let's go and analyze a bit more what we have up to now. So you can see here that uh, we started with 100 units, then we were going up and down. Uh, we reached 74 units because we had a series of losses, but then we went up, up, and, and this line over here, the trend line, uh, at the beginning was going down, but then it's going up again. So uh, we're at 114 right now, as we said. If we check 
um, per per league what are our results. So we see that from the hockey, um, the Russian league, KHL over here, we don't find the value. Uh, we have minus 2.27 in 11 bets, 11 matches. Um, in Swedish Hockey League, though, we uh, we find the value 16% in seven matches. Of course, um, it's not the sample is very small for each league, but at least we can see how every league is performing. So uh, from the the Euro League basketball, we have six bets and we have six wins. So it's 49% value. Uh, then NCAA. Um, we that is starting so uh, definitely we're not uh, our model is not 100% accurate but it seems that we have 5.55% uh, uh, value up to now so 43 winning bets and 37 losing bets uh, in an average odds of 2.06 so um, if we see here uh, we have football so Premier League, English Championship, uh, those two are winning leagues. But then we have uh, League One and League Two and in England and the French League One that we don't find the value. Uh, then from, uh, from the French League Two, uh, we find the value. Uh, Bundesliga not, but Bundesliga Two, uh, we do find the value. So we have some uh, leagues here. Uh, the Netherlands, Erste Divisie and Eredivisie are not performing well for us. Uh, the Italian Serie A and B, they're not performing well. Um, but if you check also those uh, leagues, you'll see that um, the, um, uh, the results are very weird. So... In the long run, everything will come to our numbers, I'm pretty sure. Um, then from La Liga, Spanish La Liga, we find the value from La Liga 2, not. But I'm telling you again, the, the sample is very, very small over here. But then, if we go down here, we'll see that we find the value in the Greek Super League, uh, in the Croatian League, Turkey Super League, uh, the Brazilian Serie A, um, the Scotland Premiership and NBA. We have 16 matches in NBA. Uh, we have eight wins, eight losses, 50% um, hit rate, um, while the average odds are 41%. So uh, this was the analysis. Uh, it's good to um, have something like that and always track your bets. Uh, in the future, I'm going to. Um, um, go through uh, every cell and every formula and see how you can build this. For me, um, those are the only uh, numbers that you need to follow. You don't need to follow anything else. This can tell you if you're successful or not and if you should follow the way you're betting or not. So, um, good luck, everybody. Uh, I hope you found value through my bet. Please subscribe uh, so we become bigger um, bigger and bigger and then um, I can uh, give more value to you uh, we can and in the end we can all um, be profitable and um, have um, sports betting as a second income um, and also accumulate the knowledge from um, uh, Python coding artificial intelligence um, and uh, whatever knowledge you want to seek.